Welcome back guys to another video. Hope you all are doing great learning and growing. In this video right here, we'll be testing our internet speed with Python. The cool thing about this is after this video, I'll put my internet speed in the comments below and I want you guys to also put yours. So we'll see who has the fastest internet speed. Now let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is we need to install the module we're going to use for this and the module we'll be using for this is called speed test. The first thing you need to do is in the description below, I'll leave a link and when you click on that link, it will take you to a web page where you just need to copy and when you copy the command in the web page, all you need to do is come to your terminal and just paste it like this and click on enter. And when you do that, you have speed test installed. For me, I already have speed test, so that's why it's showing me that requirements already satisfied. And after that, of course, we need to import the module we just installed. And the way we do that, I will say import speed test. And I hope you notice that I have the comments right here. And the reason for that is that comments are very important. This is the way to program. You should know where you're going before you actually start typing code. And that's the thing a lot of newbies actually fail to learn is that they just want to type code without actually knowing the destination, without actually knowing the steps that will take them to the final result. So you know what, let's continue this wonderful code. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a speed test object. And the way we do that is that we say test is equal to speed test dot speed test. And after that, what we're going to print is we're going to print server loading. Now, when we do that, what we need to do next is that you can see the comment right here. We need to get a list of servers. And the way we get the list of servers is we say test dot get servers. And when we do that, we want to actually print that we're actually choosing an ideal server. And the way we do that, we'll say print choosing ideal server. Now, when we choose our ideal server, what we need to do next is we need to actually say ideal is equal to test dot get best server and we just print that after that so we print ideal so we can see it now if I run this you can see right here that we get one I live in Spain Torre Vieja so that's why it's showing all this We've got in an ideal server. So this is the cool thing you can do with speed test. It's a really nice module, a really cool module. I'll leave the documentation so you can see even more cooler stuff you can do with this wonderful module down in the description below. Now, before we call the download function, what I want us to do is that we're going to put right here, we'll say, We'll put a message that says executing and download download server. And after this message that we get printed on our console, then we actually we say download, we create a we say download dot outcome. We say download.outcome is equal to test.download. Now that we have that, we also need to call the upload function. And we'll perform the same thing. We'll first print out a message on the console to tell us what's happening. So it's not just us waiting and so you understand. This is more user friendly and it just makes you not just wait for no reason. With like not knowing what your program is going to do. This way you actually get a message that's telling you step by step what's happening. So here we'll say executing upload test. We 
we'll say upload underscore outcome is equal to test dot upload. Another thing we need to do is we need to actually see the ping. So we need to see the ping underscore outcome. I'll say test dot result dot ping. Now what we can do is we can easily just print all this. So we'll print download outcome, then we print upload outcome, and then we print ping outcome. Now we run it. You see, choosing ideal server, and now you see executing download server. You see, we, we know something is happening. And this is what we're waiting for. Now we see it's, execu it's executing upload test. Okay, okay. We know that's happening. See, this is how you create user-friendly programs, not just, oh, the data comes out straight. And now we see everything. But the thing is, these numbers are too large, and we don't want that. We want a unit that we actually understand. And the unit for actually testing the speed of internet is megabits per second. So that's what we need to convert this to. And if we check our comments, we can see we have that right here. The comment actually tells us that, you know what, we should convert all this information into MBPS. So that's what we're going to do next. And yep, so we'll use say F like this, and then we'll say download speed. Then we'll put the curly brackets, we'll say download outcome divided by 1000. 24 and 1024 and after that we'll say 3f and after we do that we'll say mbps so that's basically it for our download speed and i'm going to copy well what just happened undo it and i'm going to copy that and Paste it right here, and instead of download speed, it's going to be, yeah, you guessed it right, upload speed. Now we have the upload speed, we change this to upload, because now we're uploading. And yes, that's practically it. And yeah, so for the ping, I'm just going to paste this right here, and for sure, it's a little bit different. We we'll just say ping. And inside here is going to be ping outcome instead of download outcome. And we don't need to do all this conversion right here. And for ping, it's not MBPS, it's just MS. So now we can see the actual speed of our internet in MBPS megabits per seconds so yeah let's run this and yeah guys compare it to yours let's see who has the fastest internet in this community so we're waiting we're waiting seeing how everything is getting on you can see right here we have a ping of 920 ms we have an upload speed of 70 mbps and we have a download speed of 158 mbps and you can see that we gave it three decimal points that's why we had to put the dot 3f you can change yours to two or whatever you could put it one you could even make it zero whatever you want but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed it let's just review what we did right here the first thing we did we imported the module then we created a speed test object and after that we got a list of servers and this is not actually really necessary but I just wanted to show you that you can do this with this module. And after that, we just printed out all the data that we actually called out to our console. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned from it. Now maybe you know why your internet is laggy and slow. Or if it's really fast, then yeah, you know the reason why. Because you actually know the values. And yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Smash the like button. 
comment down below if you have any questions or if yours is working out or even tell us your internet speed and also check out other videos on my channel i have a lot of videos on python and even some videos on javascript and google api and all that so yeah check those out and you know what i'm gonna wrap this up and i'll see you all in the next youtube video